because Trunky's a ride-on suitcase, it also has to meet the same standards as children's bikes and scooters. To do this, it needs to pass what's called the curb test, performed on a dynamic rig. Um, the rig, as it is at the moment, um, we place the weight onto the sitting surface of the item. Um, the weight is to simulate the weight of a child. So, as you can see, it's got articulated arms as well. Um, this particular weight is 50 kilograms. Um, we would use a 25 kilogram mass if the item wasn't intended for an over three year old. Um, but because it is intended for over threes, we're going to use the 50. Once we've got it strapped onto the item, um, at one end we've got a device, we let the rig go, it travels down the track and it hits the curve which is 50 millimetres in height. Um, we're trying to get it at a speed of about 2 metres per second um, and we carry out this test three times. Um, what we're looking for when it hits that curb is, again, we're looking for, like the abuse tests, any sharp edges or points or small parts, but also we're now looking at anything that may collapse from the item, so whether the wheels come off, any type of collapse at all. Um, and if it's okay, like I said, we'll carry it out three times.